Hello Pisces, welcome to your mid-month tune-up for February 2022. If it resonates, consider a personal reading. Just send me an email or a DM and we can certainly set that up. Otherwise, let's get to your reading. Holy Spirit Angels, Divine Guides Universe, can you please provide your truth, your wisdom, your clarity, and your insight for Pisces for the middle of February of 2022? What do you see? What do they need to know to reach your higher ground, become closer to universe and closer to divine? Through your messages, any messages you have will be greatly appreciated and we thank you, Pisces, for the middle of 2022 can you please show me general energies for pisces for the middle of february 2022 we have the four of swords in the upright chilling um make sure you click on the link below for your extra extra which will have your love your career your finances and your health in there specifically challenge for pisces please the middle of february we have the two of swords in the upright all right, so immediately I'm getting that you guys are kind of taking yourself out of something, so you have time to think because you're unsure, you're indecisive. In my playlist are your 2022 sun and moon predictions. 2021s are still in there, so go check those out. Also, um, advice, we have the justice card in the upright, which is the card of Libra. Look at me up on Facebook and Instagram. Like, share, subscribe, donate. Anything in support of the channel is always appreciated. Uh, and we have the Seven of Pentacles in the reversed. Um, okay, so it's like I said, with the Four Swords in the Upright, general energies are you're taking yourself out of a situation. You need space. You need to think about things. You Some of you might be getting therapy. Some of you might be counseling. You just really don't want anybody around you. You need some downtime. Uh, you could have taken a time out from a situation, taken a break from a relationship. Um, sometimes it's a, it's a card of actually having surgery and recovering from surgery, and you need that time to kind of regroup, get your strength back. So when you return, you can, you know, have all your energy um but the four swords is also a very mental card for me it's as, it's as though i need to be alone with my thoughts um so that i can you know kind of figure things out and come back and make a very um you know make a decision that i know is a very strong decision and uh you know not being swayed by anything or anybody so um it's a very meditative card for me too just kind of being alone with your thoughts um you know in a tomb so to speak because we have the night kind of hanging out in his tomb there. I always think of that as a tomb. Um, now, the two of swords here, the challenge position, that's where the indecisiveness is coming in. So challenges, you really don't know which way to go on a topic or an issue or a situation. You're just sitting there and you can't do anything because you feel like if you make a decision one way or the other, um, you know, it's it's not going to be clear. You don't know with 100% certainty that's what you're supposed to do. So you're just kind of in a stalemate here, kind of hanging out, um, trying to figure out what you need to do, if you need to compromise or what have you. So I feel that's what the challenge is. Advice is the justice card in the upright. And I feel as though there, they're telling you, make the fairest decision that you possibly can, okay? Um, stand in your own truth. Do what you believe to be morally right. Um, do what you believe to be legally right, even, um, so that you can have the most balance in your life. And so the, the most positive outcome can come out of it. I don't feel as though they're saying it's going to be peaches and cream. I think you know, there, there's going to be for every pro, there's going to be a con, but you're going to have to kind of go with, um, you know, in, in your heart, in your truth, um, you know, in your minds of minds, what do you think is the best and most just decision for you to make? Um, and what are you going to be the most comfortable with? But it's not going to be the clear cut is what I'm getting. Um, as you move forward, uh, I feel that you make the decision to no longer invest energies into this situation or into this person. I think that um, what I'm feeling is uh, it's taking too many energies away from you. Uh, you've put a lot into it. You haven't gotten anything back. In fact, it's draining. It's taking away from your life. It's taking out of your cup of energy. Um, not only that, it's sort of like you're going through the motions. Um, um, it's very tedious. It's very mundane. Um, the energies are very scattered. So I think you're just deciding that's it. You know, th this has to stop. Whatever the connection or the situation is, it can no longer be as it was. Okay. Um, so why why are these why are these cards before me for Pisces? Who are these people? What are these energies? Starting with the Four of Swords and the Upright, Queen of Wands and the Reverse. We have the Knight of Wands and the Upright. And we have, let me pull both of these cards, even though they both came out. 
Yeah, so, I mean, I think, um, so Queen of Wands, Knight of Wands in reverse, Wheel of Fortune in the upright, Page of Cups in reverse. Um, I'm getting from this that you really are feeling very confident about anything right now. Um, you're really concerned about um, if you're going to be doing the right thing, uh, what are people what are people going to think about the decision that you're going to make. Um, you know, there's a lot of outside influences you're kind of thinking of um, in regards to this. Uh, whatever the situation is, there is a part of you that um, you like it, okay? So if this is a person, it's somebody who's very passionate, very flirty, very fun. Um, you know, there's that aspect where you really do like to be around them. They're fearless, um, you know, they're really enthusiastic. Um, or it could just be a situation that gets you very excited and, you know, you like to be in it and what have you, but it has downsides to it. Um, and I see with the Wheel of Fortune upright, you're you're thinking or you're kind of hoping maybe things will turn around. Maybe things, you know, maybe this is just a down cycle and the situation will improve. I feel like you're kind of, kind of waiting on that, seeing if things will actually improve, if there's going to be a turning point and that that's actually going to tip the scales. But with the Page of Cups in reverse, I don't see that happening. Um, what I see is you, again, being emotionally drained. Um, if it's from a person, it's somebody who's really mature, um, likes to play, 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 likes to drink, 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 um, likes their substances or what have you, really bratty kind of person, really chaotic. So um, I know you have all the hope it's going to turn around, but I'm not seeing that. But I, I do see there is an aspect to this that you do like. There is just another aspect to it that you feel like you can't kind of put up with anymore, whether it's a situation or a person. Why is the Two of Swords here in the upright? Who's this person? What's his energy? Okay, Five of Swords. Five of Swords in reverse. Two of Wands in the upright. The Page of Swords in the reversed. Oh, a lot of stuff going on here. <laughs> Two of Pentacles in the reverse. So I feel as though with the Five of Swords, again, the challenge is you really want to kind of put your swords down with this person. You want to figure something out so that um, they're open to doing things differently or in the situation, people are open to doing things differently. Um, and and just kind of lay things to rest, okay? And move forward. Um, but I, And I don't think that that's, well, you really are making a decision here because the two of wands in the upright is an indication of another decision you're making. Should you stay or should you go? Should you stay with something you're familiar with or should you take a risk and, and um, see what else is out there for you? Um, so again, kind of going back and forth, page of swords in reverse are people who are telling you <laughs> what to do. So I feel like you have people that are whispering in your ear and chitter chatting and saying, oh, you should do this. You should do that. Oh, this person's no good for you. Oh, that situation's terrible. And they aren't really they're they're misinformed I don't really feel like they know what they're talking about they think that they do they're just trying to manipulate the situation by telling you untruths gossip um, anything like that um, to try to get in your ear and, and get you to kind of change um, uh, you know how you're feeling about the situation or sway you more in a negative way um, two of Pentacles in the reverse another card of decisions you overly struggling trying to figure out what you're gonna do having difficulty um, um, not knowing what to do, um, thinking that you might have to take a gamble of sorts to, you know, just kind of throw the dice and see what's going to happen. So a lot of indecisive, indecisiveness going on in the middle of um, February. Okay, here they're telling you right there with the seven of uh, pentacles in reverse, which is here. They're saying, um, you know, maybe the fairest decision for you to make is to stop putting your energies into this. You've been putting it off long enough. Um, they're telling you with the Ace of Pentacles in reverse, there's nothing there from a practical sense. Um, this person or this situation is a huge gamble. Um, you'll see that you're probably on the losing end of things, uh, causing you a lot of stress um, in regards to practical matters. Um, they'll tell you things are going to happen that never um, come to fruition. Um, opportunities are being taken from you rather than, um, you know, being presented. Devil card in the upright. Um, the double card, a uh, card of Capricorn. So they're letting you know that this person is the devil, basically. Um, and you being bound to them is just going to drag you down. Uh, they have a very dark side associated with them. Could have addictions. Um, Page of Cups in reverse is known for addictions. So the so is the devil card in the upright. Um, usually this is a card of instant gratification, um, making you feel powerless, um, someone you can't break free of. So they're saying you're going to have to kind of cut this person or loose or cut yourself from this situation it's just going to drag you down. 
Why is the Seven of Pentacles here in reverse for Pisces? Who's this person? What's this energy? Ace of Swords. Okay, Ace of Swords in the reverse, which is confusion, which is doubt in regards to how you're going to be moving forward, how to see your way forward, not having a plan to move forward. So you could have some hesitancy in regards to, um, like I said, not putting this in, into this anymore. You're holding on to this the Four of Wands in the upright, that this person is your twin flame, your soulmate, um, or this situation was meant to be and you are going to be happy again and you're going to be joyful again and there's going to be cause to celebrate but I don't feel like that is what the situation is going to be I feel like you're just kind of holding on to that and with the four of pentacles in reverse you're 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 you don't really want to let go of this so the four of pentacles is holding on to something out of absolute fear not wanting to let go of it but what you have to do is um, as you move forward from this reading ask yourself why are you holding on to it dig it a little deeper and find out is it for shallow reasons is it out of fear you know what is it because I do see you even though you're putting off and procrastinating uh, releasing this person's situation I do see you ultimately doing it so if you answer those questions you might be able to do it sooner and extricate yourself from it so that's what I have for you all if it resonates consider a personal reading just send me an email or a DM I would be happy to set that up for you otherwise make sure you click on the Vimeo link below for your extra extra which will have your love your career your finances and your health in there your 2022 sun moon predictions are in my playlist so are your 2021s uh, look me up on Facebook Instagram like share subscribe donate or support the channel anywhere you can even if it's just in the comments adios from Veronica Garnet. I will see you in the Vimeo Pisces Bye.